And welcome. It is August. I mean July 29th, 2021. This is Sean, and I am just going to do a check-in for this next episode. I have several folks lined up to do their uh tell their story. But I was thinking as I create this podcast, you know, what kind of content do I want to do? Obviously, I'm telling stories that we can hopefully put out there to help the uh, still suffering addict and alcoholic. But I think that when I think about what happens in, in meeting halls and treatment centers is I think checking in is a good thing. I think that taking stock of uh, your experiences in the, I don't know, over the past week, I remember doing that in outpatient treatment and inpatient. But just kind of, you know, let's summarize how things have been going. So today, this lovely July Thursday, I have been battling a headache for two days now. This would be day two, so maybe not two full days, but... It hasn't happened to me in quite a while, and I'm thinking that maybe it's a medication thing. Um, they put me on this medication called gabapentin for nerve pain because I have just this horrid thing going on in my back where the nerve is is just super irritated and like I got discs doing weird things. I don't even remember what. It's all technical jargon. I'm drinking my coffee. It's early in the morning. But anyway, yeah, I think maybe that's a side effect of the medication and to be honest the last few nights I've been sleeping on the couch that we have in our bedroom because the only way that I can get comfortable is to be laying on my back but kind of wedged in the couch so that my knees are up and I put a pill on my left side so that my knees don't fall to the left and then of course you're on your back and I'm fucking snoring like a like I'm sawing some serious logs. But at least I'm not right next to my wife. So that's good. But anyway, I'm sleeping okay once I get to sleep, but moving on. Emotionally. I've been feeling pretty good. Um ever since I started this podcast, it's just kind of heightened my awareness around my own recovery and it made me really it's it's made me really mindful of my moods um to be thankful and grateful to own my behavior uh, for instance last night the headache was really starting to get to me and we were going to go, my wife and I were going to take the kayaks out and I was super irritable. I mean, so irritable that we just decided that I needed a, some downtime, but you know, immediately I think it's important. It's for my own, uh, recovery and behavior that I own that and I apologized 
immediately. Because I could tell that it was not pleasant to be around. So there's those times that we're going to have where we are going to have to suck it up and say, I'm sorry. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. That goes a long way. Not only does that go a long way, but it it's just one of those things that's uh, action over words. And if you are sorry about something, then your behavior will follow. Hopefully. Nobody's perfect. And as they do say in the rooms, if you've ever been in quote unquote the rooms, is that it's uh, all about progress and not perfection. Just making those little baby steps towards progress. And I know a lot of us are perfectionists, including myself, but I've been able to let that go a little bit. Sometimes I think I let it go a little too much and I just don't do anything or I half-ass stuff. But I have that awareness. Um, I think I just realized it right now. Hmm. Anyway, it's been it's been a good couple of weeks. Um, it'll be three weeks tomorrow that I launch the podcast, and it's getting a good reception. Um. Just like anything you do, you gotta, you gotta use all these, <clears throat> excuse me, social media channels. And that's taxing. And then I find myself looking at it to see if people are watching it or here listening to it. And, and people are, and that's great. But I gotta keep in mind that. I'm just doing this because I want to, what did I read? I read something today that said the people that, I don't know if it said suffer or work through their stuff publicly, do it because uh, for the people that are, are doing it silently. And, and that's kind of the giving back part of uh, recovery. Kind of what Regan, if you listen to episode two, Regan talks about, you got to give it back. And that's, you'll hear that a lot in the rooms too. Um, not to say that this, this podcast is based off of one form of recovery, because I'll tell you what, and you'll hear about it later. My recovery is very... Uh, non-conventional. <clears throat> More on that later. But we are gearing up for several more stories, and I will get those out as soon as I uh, record them and edit them. Can't wait to get my uh, my bandmate in here. He's, he's, I think we'll do that one next. I'm all gunky. I don't know if it's allergies or what, but I feel like I got a, like I got a bunch of uh, molasses or some sort of thick coagulated stuff in my sinuses. I wondered, too, if the headache had something to do with maybe I'm getting a cold or maybe it's COVID. Um, I did get the vaccination. I also have 5G on my phone. <laughs> it 
So I think the vaccination has provided an improvement in my cell phone reception. Just kidding, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Well, at 10 minutes and 20 seconds, I think I'll conclude my check-in. I want to thank you for listening and watching the YouTube audio version of The Narcotist. Um, be sure to share it with your friends and your family. And I put the audio on YouTube. Podcast is available on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and SoundCloud, which is where it's hosted from. So you can listen at three different spots there. And you can listen on YouTube. If you have YouTube Premium, you can play it in the background while you close your phone or whatever. That's what I have. It's nice. Anywho, we will see you next time in the next episode or the next check-in. So be kind to everyone, especially yourself. Be compassionate towards yourself and uh, as much as possible to everyone around you. And remember, progress, not perfection. Life happens. Things come up. We get angry, we get sad, we get super happy, we get mad. I just said all that because it rhymes. But uh, thank you for listening. We'll see you in the next episode.